Hey guys, Isabel here. Welcome back to Real Din. Today is Wednesday, which means that the first three episodes of Andor has dropped. I previously reacted to episode one of the series, so be sure to check that out. And today's episode will be me reacting to episode two. Now I can definitely see why they dropped the first three episodes. One, because they have more than the typical six to eight episodes that a Disney Plus series usually is, so they have time to work on storylines and characters and things like that. Um, but episode one was pretty slow, which I didn't mind because we got a lot of background on Cassian himself and we see his initial character in the present. So he's kind of seedy, um, a gambler, and in a way I feel acting a little bit as like an addict. Obviously someone who is very nervous, he just killed two people, spoilers, um, but if you're watching this video I'm assuming you watched it first anyway. But also we did get a line from him in the Rogue One movie where he admits that he does, he has done things he's not proud of, things that, you know, other people can't even imagine. So getting to see this on screen is actually pretty cool in my opinion. But last episode he's been looking for his sister, which is what caused him to eventually, he accidentally killed one man and then killed the other one so the other guy wouldn't say anything. And then we also had gotten flashbacks of his childhood, left his sister behind in, um, I think it was a, a village. So, and then there's a ship that crashed. It could be an Imperial ship. My theory is that um, Cassian went off when he comes back, um, his sister and probably the rest of the village is gonna be gone. That's what my theory is. We'll see if that's, if it's if it's gonna be confirmed in this episode or not. Also, the there's this collector sort of, this buyer that's been contacted. So um, maybe we'll see him, maybe not. Also, it's like a detective. There's a detective aspect. We have a deputy inspector which I never thought we would ever get in Star Wars. And um, he's looking into the murder of these two people. And therefore, um, he's eventually, I think, gonna go after Cassian. So a lot, of, a lot of parts coming into play. So, but enough of me rambling, let's get to reacting. All right, so we're starting off immediately with um, the childhood. All these individuals, they also like, they don't look like adults either. Like maybe 20s is like the oldest, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, so they've already been on the planet. Never mind. Wow. Wow. So it's like a, like a, like a quarry. I really need to rewatch Rogue One. <laughs> it's been a while, I'm going to admit. But is it abandoned is my question. Also, the music for this show is very, like, sad and melancholy, which I think really adds to the, the tone we've been feeling, in the, at least in the first episode. Oh. I do like how they're displaying the information on the screen, though. Because he obviously knows it's Cassian. A Supreme War authority is seeking a Canary male resident of Ferrex for questioning. Citizens with any information should contact the Priox oh. Mormon. Everybody knows, everybody knows now. I feel like. Who else knows? But who knows? Who have we told? Also, is that Fiona Shaw? Is she in Star Wars now? Fest. Every doc I've ever submitted has always said you were born on Fest. Crack off! When everyone I've told is dead. <laughs> That's really I can't, I honestly can't tell if it's her or not. Samuel. Huh? Let's get this. All right, so I liked that guy at first, but now I'm like, listen, you're literally stalking her. And then assumptions are gonna be made. Oh, he's angry now, so he's gonna go turn Cassian in. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Ah! I've been saying all along we need a stronger hand with these affiliated planets. Pass along your kind words to the chief inspector. Oh, so we have some ambition coming up. So he, the deputy inspector, I think is gonna become the chief inspector, maybe. Oh, the empire. <laughs> I feel like for Cassian, like current, it's such like a sad existence. Like I can see how he, like once the resistance or the rebellion finds him how like he 
he would feel like he owed them his life, essentially, to like follow orders strictly, like down to a T. I don't know what's gonna happen with them. But oh, a longer walk this time. B clicks away. I was wondering when he was gonna come in. But I had this like strong sense of foreboding for that whole village right now. I'm assuming he's the buyer, but also kind of like a recruiter. And I think he's the one who's gonna recruit Cassian. I've only seen like also one trailer in total. So that's just what I think is gonna happen based on what I've seen previous. What's up this morning? Just got a few errands to run. I feel like she has to come up with a different excuse besides errands. <laughs> like how many errands do you need to, do you need to run in, in like, like a week? You have to go away. And? He's you so have sad. Credits for Marva. You... Oh, it's a bantha. A little bantha stuffy. Oh, is that his staff? From Canari? Man, I'm, 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 I'm really nervous. Oh, okay. So I guess the, the landing killed? Maybe it wasn't an empire ship. Why is our skin like that? Is it supposed to be? Or did... I'm very confused. <laughs> it sort of looks like they were poisoned, kind of. Like with like a toxic gas or something. Oh no. Here we go. Oh! Such savages. The Empire. Also very interesting, I don't know that their their staffs um, double does like blow guns. Is that the right term for the word? Oh. Oh, so his anger started very early. I will say though, even though the storytelling is like taking its time, I think it's setting up a lot of really good points, especially in terms of characterization. Kenari, mid rim, abandoned after Imperial mining disaster. Okay, so it was abandoned. Mining, everyone died. Abandoned and considered toxic, mm. Imperial prohibition. Makes sense, okay. <laughs> What is that cube? <laughs> He's just trying his best. I don't I don't dislike him yet. I feel like I I may in the future episodes, but um Yeah. <laughs> He's just like awkward. He's like, he has like an awkward oh, beam. What's your line? Rather not say. <laughs> He's I like, please leave me alone. <laughs> These episodes also have very, sh like, very differentiating run times. The first one was like 35 minutes ish. This one was like just 30, and then the next one I think will be similar to like 35 minutes. Um, technically, with like credits and everything, it's like 40. Um, and then this one's supposed to be like 38 with credits, but again, definitely I can see why they would release three at the same time. I think it's sort of to finish this opening arc of how um, Cassian starts out his journey. Because I think by the end of next episode, he's going to agree to, um, I think, help out with the Rebellion, I think, is this was one in, during this time. I'm going to be totally honest, I always get the Resistance and the Rebellion very confused, so... But, you know, I am kind of enjoying how they're taking their time to build up um, people's characterizations, their motivations, especially Andor's, in regards to how he feels about the Empire and why when someone tries to recruit him, he would actually agree because of his f hatred for them very early on. I also wonder if we're going to get a continuous flashback to his childhood, because now I am curious as to what happened to his sister, because I thought they would come in and sort of take her while he was out, um, I guess, scouting, not hunting, scouting. Um, also, the software I use to record all this, 
um, actually takes away subtitles. So if there is translation to the languages, I actually can't see it. So I don't know what everyone's saying. But with context, I think I got it. <laughs> but guys, that was my reaction to episode two of Andor. Leave a like on the video, comment. What do you guys think about the pacing so far? I'm actually pretty curious. And feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future Andor reaction videos as well as Star Wars discussion videos. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon.